is a presentation of TFNN. The P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome all to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host. As always, we like to come to you at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on today? Well, it certainly isn't uh, what you think it is. You never really know. Volume continues to be very quiet. Very, very quiet. Uh, 3.9 billion shares again. Uh, we want to look at something in the range of about 10 billion shares on a day to say that there's some juice up here at these highs. Uh, we just continue to have qu very quiet volume days, uh, even on the up days, they're not what they really need to be. Um, when we look at the dark pool volume, it is mostly Wall Street trading. There isn't a lot going on for uh, the folks on Main Street as far as uh, that, or just outside the big broker dealers. The dark pool people, uh, they get to trade without really uh, eh, saying much until the end of the day. Even then, unclear whether or not, even if they did a trade and didn't even say that they did one, whether it would end up uh, in the in, in the juice. I think they do. I don't think they want to get sued. I don't know if they do it exactly within the five minutes they're supposed to. We get so much money or volume at the end of the day as percentage of the day that I'm just, uh, just suspecting that they just kind of turn uh, – a blind eye to the fact that most of that trading during the day uh, doesn't get uh, added until the end of the day. But even then, we don't have the kind of volume that we're looking at up here. Of course, uh, trade issues uh, are on the uh, table, and uh, we're seeing the Russell 2000 up a bit today, about six-tenths of a percent, uh, just based on uh, kind of iffy uh, discussions about whether or not we're going to get uh, any kind of uh, additional tariff hikes by the end of the year, which makes me think that, you know what, I've been looking at buying some stuff uh, that uh, I can only get from China. And I'm going to think in the next day or two, I'll probably go ahead and order it. Because I'm just assuming <laughs> that uh, it'll take about a week, maybe 10 days to get here. I'm thinking that uh, that would, this would probably be the last week where we don't have to worry about everything getting caught up in a tariff issue as it comes across the, uh, the counter here. Uh, and I can't imagine that the, that the uh, Chinese communists who run the country are really going to want to give anything up. Uh, they see uh, that uh, the president under attack uh, maybe they're just willing to roll the dice for a year to find out. But my guess is at the end of that year, we're going to find out we probably didn't need the Chinese as much as they thought and many other people on this side of the pond thought. And uh, we may just uh, start weaning ourselves off of uh, a lot of products made by slave labor. They've got some 900 concentration camps over there. I think a lot of people just kind of want to forget all the horrible stuff going on. Kind of tough right now to do with Hong Kong. Uh, but uh, I think there may be a lot of reasons to think that uh, why maybe 20 percent of that business comes back to the United States. Maybe the other 80 percent uh, ends up in other countries, which would probably be fairly decent. Uh, spread the wealth out over in uh, the Far East. But again, not a lot of volume. Not much going on here. We'll uh, go through some charts uh, through the rest of the day. Tomorrow is my guess uh, when it's going to be time to start adding positions again. Um, and, uh, of course, today being the last day of uh, uh, generally the last day of options rollovers. And, of course, this is a long option cycle to the 20th of December. Let's do a little history. That it's all just a little bit of history repeating. 
On this day in 1863, the full text of the Gettysburg Address delivered by President Abraham Lincoln is to, at the dedication of the Soldiers National Cemetery at the scene of the Battle of Gettysburg and the American Civil War on November 19th, 1863. And here it is. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men living and dead who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people by the people for the people shall not perish from the earth. Now, they don't talk like that anymore, do they? On this day in 1863. Uh, of course, the big news today in the stock markets, uh, I'm going to say is Home Depot. I like to call it the homeless despot. Uh, but uh, Mr. Big Company uh, did open lower about uh, 230 bucks, uh, has gone nothing but lower today, 225.40. Uh, we talked uh, several times over the last few months about how weak a lot of the housing stocks look like. In fact, the heater company, the uh, water heater company, was it yesterday or the day before, maybe Friday, I can't remember. Uh, a lot of those companies had started to act fairly weak already. We've been in a fairly long uh growth spurt in housing and you know just at, at some point you're going to catch up to the most amount of people buying stuff any market gets saturated and at least uh, if housing has not hit some kind of long-term high it's heard uh, hit at least some kind of short-term high anyway we'll be back after this If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. We're back. We're going to look at a few stocks. Uh, you've got Adobe today uh, going through the August 9th high of 298.27. That had two and a half million shares. You got about one million shares so far. You had a couple million a couple of days ago, but that's still a few bucks lower. As you actually break through that, you would like to see a sign of strength. Million shares compared to 2.5. So let's say you end up with 1.7 million shares on the day. If uh, we're going to be charitable, it is going to be a light volume uh, hit back to these huge down days that started on July 29th. Autodesk, another one that's kind of breaking through the previous high in the last few days. September 12th, 159.88, three and a half million shares. Last three days, we had 1.7 million shares yesterday, 1.5 million shares today, 628,000 shares. So going to be very, very light. Uh, in fact, uh, the energy off this October 23rd low, very light compared to the uh, previous moves up and down. So there isn't a lot of juice to uh, be steaming and storming the Bastille uh, back into these. But again, the uh, volume probably going to pick up tomorrow, and that's going to tell us a great deal more than anything we see today. Uh, first, Majestic Silver. For a lot of uh, gold being kind of down, this one actually back up against resistance. Uh, it had a huge down day of about 8.8 .8 million shares going back to the 5th of August. No, 5th of September, excuse me. Uh, and uh, you're back into that uh, today with about 2.7 million shares. A lot of the other ones are down, which is kind of interesting that that's up, even on light volume, kind of bucking the trend. Uh, Lylem Pharmaceuticals, A-L-Y, A-L-N-Y, he said. Uh, actually, with some nice volume, but not holding the previous highs of April 1st. I don't know a lot about that biotech company. Uh, nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Uh, question about Kohl's K S S. Another one that dropped the Chalupa today and uh, no real bounce or anything else uh, so far. And it looks like it's headed back down 
to the 44 to 42 dollar range. I was very surprised that they got this pig up uh, this high. Uh, they've had a bunch of ideas, and all of them seem like uh, hail mary passes in the last 30 seconds of the game, from returning Amazon uh, products to the store, uh, a lot of other stuff. I just it, it's not a bad store. It's just I don't think these things are ever going to make the kind of profit that they did one day. Uh, and that is another one down on earnings. So we talked about a lot of earnings this week uh, on, uh, on uh, retail stocks. Uh, and uh, your BN, uh, Urban Outfitters out after the bell tonight at 4.05. It gapped down, I think, on the other uh, retailers not doing so much. And, of course, most of these guys are probably going to guide down anyway because there's, uh, at least on guidance, because uh, there's six less days than there were last year uh, in the lead-up to Christmas from Black Friday. So, you know, everybody gets in the mood after Thanksgiving, kind of. They've been trying to push everybody to start buying in September. But I don't know how good that is. That kind of falls on deaf ears after a while. Anyway, uh, when everybody gets busy and into the idea of buying Christmas presents uh, the day after Thanksgiving, well, six less days this year. Uh, and it's going to be very tough on the comps uh, to come back on that. Anyway, uh, as we said, Urban Outfitters out after the bell tonight uh, for earnings tomorrow morning. We've got Target. Let's take a quick look at that, TGT. Um, this one's probably going to do better. I think it's uh, there's a whole bunch of losers and a, and a, and a very few winners, uh, but certainly Target probably going to do okay. They've got a high volume day yesterday and a doji today, but that's before the bell tomorrow. Uh, Lowe's uh, also uh, in the morning. This one actually had a fairly good test with higher volume volume yesterday, but kind of rolled down on home. Uh, the homeless death spots miss this morning. Volume's not all that crazy. It'd be very interesting to see if they say just the exact same as the homeless death spot uh, from earnings this morning. But I don't know. I think their stores seem to be a little less sensitive to new um, sales, new uh, home sales, and a lot more toward uh, people redoing and actually uh, fixing up their houses. It's a little nicer inside. Uh, both of them are kind of box stores, but a little nicer inside. Uh, then, of course, uh, tomorrow night uh, we go into L Brands. I don't know if there's anything that can fix this because people aren't going to the mall anymore. The uh, question is, will this break through $16.10 tomorrow morning? Uh, SQM, with all the cars coming out that are going to be electrified, kind of s almost silly. Uh, that uh, <laughs> that this thing's sitting on the, the floor and can't get up. Uh, but uh, earnings out, uh, yeah, before the bell or after the bell, after the bell tomorrow night on that. Both Jack in the Box and some others. And then on Thursday morning, BJ's Wholesale Club, Macy's. So we're going to have a lot more of these. I, it's going to be very tough to see how any of those actually do fairly well. Uh, <laughs> uh, well. I've got actually something here, but I can't find it. I'll find it after the break. But, uh, yes, I, I do like the, uh, the uh, thing, but there's actually a reason why I started saying that, and I will find it. We're talking about dropping the chalupa, but uh, I will find it when we come back. Um, to, 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 what else is it? Uh, okay. Okay, that's it for earnings that I'm going to look at. I did want to say I was going to get to somebody. Oh, this is Beyond Me. And it's Beyond Me, why anybody would want to eat something Beyond Me. But that's it. Uh, I don't know. Is it this, is it this quarter's... Uh, Weed stocks that went to 239.71 or just the end of a market or the top of a long bull market uh, where people are uh, basically talked into literally just about anything. Um, 
Does this chart just remind you exactly Tilray? Um, there's a lot of companies that can make this stuff. So I don't know if there's really, if these guys have some kind of secret sauce that no one else has or marketing that no one has. But my guess is uh, that uh, it's just going to be a very crowded market. And a lot of people are going to get into it. I, th they, I think the thought was these guys had some kind of patentable thing that no one else could do. And now everybody and their dogs coming along with some kind of veggie burger. Well, I'm like Spock. I want to eat charred animal flesh, not a bunch of silly plants. So, I don't know. Maybe everybody ate some and decided to give up on it. I'll be back after this. Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we had a uh, statement in the den about the Chalupa. And uh, I just, I heard the commercial and it kind of stuck with me. So uh, when everything kind of someone messes up, I always think of it as uh, drop the chalupa. Sir, drop the chalupa. Put it down and back away. Sir, don't be silly. Drop the chalupa. Drop I said drop the chalupa. Put it down, man. Yeah, drop the chalupa. Yep, drop that chalupa. Anyway, um, we'll go on to some other stuff. Uh, 
anyway, beyond me, I, as far as I can tell, it looks just like Del Rey. I don't think that there's anything else going on in there. Uh, it's just B-O-L-D. Haven't had a look at this one. Actually, Audencia Therapeutics bounced a little today. This thing's still in a downtrend as far as I can tell. Burlington Coat uh, uh, stores, of course, do well in the winter. But again, I think with a short uh, short season this year, the comps are going to be very tough on these if uh, people try to put uh, fourth quarter to fourth quarter. Uh, if this thing doesn't uh, drop the chalupa uh, in this quarter, then you got to, it comes springtime, I have a feeling that this one probably headed back down. CBLK, which is carbon black, oh, that one's gone. Uh, to, to, to possible low in uh, CARE DX, CNDA. Uh, 1.2 million share low from September 10th, $19.53. Uh, 1.2 million shares came into it with half the volume and starting to move back higher. So what else do we have in here? CHK, Chesapeake Energy. Uh, no sign of a low on this one. It's down to 56 cents. Da, 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 da. D Dog, which is a recent IPO, uh, did have kind of a nice spike lower out here. Of course, uh, we've talked about this one the last few, well, I guess last week. I don't know if there's a great deal more to say about it until this thing's been trading for a while. I don't know if there's anything else. Uh, we've got this, I think, on Thursday. Is it Thursday? Uh, coming up on earnings for the gap. But again, a both retail and in giant malls, not a good uh, formula for big profits this year, most likely. Uh, it is down on lighter volume, but I think that's uh, Thursday night after the bell, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, to, to do, what else do we have out here? Uh, to, to, uh, I guess we should look at IWM real quick. Uh, it is the strong sister today in the market up about six tenths of a percent this thing's just dancing around the highs the question is whether or not it's ever going to get the juice to break through uh, it is and does seem to be the weakest of the indexes except today uh, but you're coming back up to another previous high and eh, you really were looking for something in the neighborhood of about 40 million shares uh, to break through the highs you got about 10 million so far. So let's say you end up with 15 million shares by the end of the day. You're still going to be way short of about the 40 million that you're looking for. Uh, to, to, to LABU, which is the biotech bear shares, a nice push on this. Uh, you needed about uh, 2 million shares to break even. Uh, with the previous high, you got 1.7 so far. So you are getting a little bit of love in that, but I have a feeling that's more uh, of uh, people being too short that sector. Uh, the TLT, uh, they've been able to game this thing back up a bit, uh, but again, um, you could make a case that today the TLT is coming into the downtrend line. What you can also make a case for is absolutely a dismal volume up on 3.6 million shares compared to the almost uh, over 11 million shares back on the 4th of uh, November. So there isn't a lot of juice back up into this trend line. Um, maybe another buck or so. Uh, 140 would probably be a fairly uh, interesting level to look at seeing that retop out, uh, if not go lower. To, 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 to MDCO, which is a uh, medicines company. They do a lot of generic stuff. Uh, this is the one that really uh, pushed a lot of these hires uh, in the pharma sector today. Got to 73.85. Uh, but this one's kind of really tough to ever gauge. They don't say a lot about it. MGM, um, I'm wondering how many of these uh, stocks that are uh, sensitive uh, to the Chinese trade negotiations it would take a header if we do have more tariffs coming on. Uh, but I have to say right now, 
Uh, there's hard to find a stock testing a previous high on light or volume. $31.53, July 26, 12.6 uh, million shares. Uh, today, you've got about 2.5 million shares. So I'm going to say fairly uh, well valued on that one. What's uh, MGM? January 29th is the next earnings. So you got plenty of time before those come out. Let's see what else is on my list of stuff to check out today. Party City. Uh, up at its highs. Uh, now, this one's actually had some light volume yesterday, just 275,000 shares today. That goes back into the August 27th high at 112.64, uh, just under a million shares. And of course, what do you have today? About 275,000 shares. So could you get a couple of days higher if this market continues to go higher? You could. Uh, but there are some stocks really screaming right now uh, for people to get out of them. Uh, what else is on here? RCL, Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. Um, this is going through the August 1st high, 117.97 that had 2.5 million shares uh, going through that today with 850,000 shares. Not exactly sure why going into uh, this time of the year, this would be rather weak. He had some volume a few days ago, but it's still uh, uh, just 2 million shares compared to that 2.5 million share previous high. Uh, I don't know. Norovirus hitting uh, all these ships again? I don't know, but certainly looks rather weak. Uh, to, 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 to SKX, which is Skechers. Uh, another one up here on ridiculously light volume. That's the July 19th high, $40.50 on 16 million shares. Got into it yesterday with uh, two and a half million shares. Today, 400,000 shares. Let's see when the earnings are on that. A X K A K X. Uh, January 21st. So you certainly have plenty of time for this one. Um, but uh, another one that looks incredibly weak, and uh, if we get some weak numbers out of uh, the other retailers this week, I think you could make a fairly decent case that that one has stopped out. Uh, okay, we'll be back in just a minute. Uh, we'll have some other ones we'll dig up here. But there are a few stocks out here giving some interesting signals, and again, I think uh, the sideways action is going to be over tomorrow. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. 
TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. And we're back. Uh, Z Scaler got a question on that from Jim. Uh, well, I mean, you're just kind of going sideways out here. You'd like to get one retest of forty dollars and five cents on about a million shares to make a nice low out here. All you have is kind of a, a minimal bounce. Could it still get fifty-five bucks, fifty-six bucks, where you've got this double gap out here? That's where you'd probably want to pull the trigger short. So I don't know if you're long this thing or what you're planning on doing short at, uh, at 56, um, long, uh, light volume at $40.05. So I don't know if there's much else you can do in that. Uh, to, 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 okay, what else do we have? Um, sill, which is silver. We've got an email on. Uh, okay. And silver is a the gold. I think the chart looks better. Silver, kind of the overall profit at the top end, looks better. But this is just a very big triangle pattern going back, uh, really starting back on September 4th, uh, if you want to look at it that way, or September 24th, if you're being conservative. Uh, but so far, you just continue to have uh, lower lows and higher uh, and lower highs and higher lows. So until this thing breaks out of it, um, it's problematic. I I mean, it had one of the better looking Gartley patterns uh, for a while, and it just kind of kind of mushed out. Uh, to, to what else do we have that we want to put on the list? Uh, VRSN, to, 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 which is VeriSign, again, um, back to a lot of these triangle patterns until we know that they test the previous highs on lighter volume. Kind of a big day or big candle in VeriSign today, but it just going into a, a candle of 1.1 million shares uh, with 500,000 shares so far today. So it doesn't look like that's going to change much. Uh, to, to, let's see what else we have in the grab bag of stuff. Uh, we'll look at the usual suspects, like Microsoft. Uh, again, no sign that this thing's cracking, other than the fact that uh, it's you're getting very small returns, uh, a little bit higher, and you're just wondering where the music's going to turn off. I don't see anything that really changes with Microsoft. Amazon, a lot of negative press on it for a change about how much they're going to be hurt by not selling Gucci bags and Nike shirts and stuff, but I don't know if it matters. Um, no real good pattern to discern out here. Uh, and again, uh, the bigger issue on this one, of course, is antitrust and anti-trade issues. Uh, fake book uh, is, of course, pushing that they're going to have uh, the uh, digital currency uh, 
and unclear if anybody actually is going to try to stop them. Uh, they're going to try to do it in Switzerland, so who knows if those guys are going to do anything. Uh, my guess is the second that they open that up, uh, that there will be laws against anti-money laundering because, of course, governments love to collect taxes, and if they could get around taxes with uh, this or Bitcoin, uh, Mr. Government is not going to like that. You're at least busting through the 193 high of September 20th. Uh, you really wanted to have a lot of volume. You, you got okay volume yesterday, but still short of the 20 million shares at 193.10. Uh, today, you've got uh, about 13 million shares. Uh, could it go back up and test 208.66? Well, the answer probably it could. Uh, again, you're taking kind of a big risk out here that you do get an announcement uh, like uh, uh, that Google has with... Uh, what, 48 of the 50 states' attorney generals coming after them, and that actually got expanded on Monday. Uh, Amazon, pretty uh, straightforward, I think, uh, on it, getting it, at least one day into the jaws of uh, the Justice Department on antitrust. Certainly looks like Alphabet could close below a key mark today. That would be a close below uh, 1296.98. And you're at 1313 right now. So maybe not. You need to, any close though in the next couple of days below 1296.98 would tell you a great deal uh, that this uh, stock probably has kind of topped out for a while and uh, risk probably out ways reward, although uh, the reward is probably a little bit more likely until the end of the year. Okay, what else do we have? Question on Boeing. I think we've talked about this quite a lot. Um, you know, what can you say? CEO is going to get fired. You probably got 20 bucks higher in that. Uh, if you are just absolutely compelled to short companies that have huge amounts of business in front of them and uh, lots of orders. Um, go short Boeing or Apple. Um, of course, Boeing has a little bit better case to short it, but it's just not a good case as far as I can tell. A little bit of sideways action. Again, if you're going to short this thing, wait until they fire the CEO because I think there's at least 20 bucks in that that day. Uh, do, do, do. What else do we have? Got some more emails. We'll check those during the break. You can give me a call at 877-927-6648. Uh, what else do we have out here we wanted to look at? Looked at Skechers. Um, I don't think anything else is going in Netflix today, although we'll be back to the usual suspects. Uh, you need a little bit more, but you are fairly close to there. When someone was asking whether or not you wanted to short Netflix. Uh, this came down off of the earnings call. Uh, this was on the 17th of October, uh, down on 38 million shares. Yesterday, you got into it with 8.6 million shares. Today, just 4 million shares. Uh, and as I said, 305, 310, light volume. I don't know if I'd pull the trigger there because of the short sellers in it. Let's take a quick look and see what they've been doing lately in Netflix. Uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately, everybody and their dog wants to short this. This is shorted almost every day, 25% for the last two weeks, eh, maybe even three weeks. Um, overall, although they short this a lot, it's not as bad as you might think. 6% overall short, uh, two and a half days to cover. Uh, so overall, it's not that bad, but the problem is that you've got all these people that shorted yesterday and it's just easy to kind of push them out of the way today. And what you want to do is see that FINRA, uh, action come FINRA data come through for the daily short sales where these people really kind of give up. Uh, and again, uh, between Apple and this and Boeing, people want to short these things out the yin yang. 
and they haven't got a signal to do so quite yet. Anyway, uh, Apple, yeah, another day, no trend line broken. We'll be back in a minute. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as a number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Basil Chapman has just announced a live 90-minute webinar he'll be conducting for subscribers to his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, which will be taking place Tuesday, November 19th from 5 till 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, titled A Comprehensive Review of the Chapman Wave Techniques and Market Outlook Ahead for 2020. This is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial to The Opening Call while gaining access to Basil's live subscriber event taking place later this month. With some stock picks up 15 to 30% this year alone, Basil will review many of the Chapman Wave techniques that helped in their successful analysis, as well as providing the sectors and stocks that he thinks will be of importance heading into 2020. For all the details, check out the opening call on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we get ready to wrap up the show, we had a question about... Uh, if uh, how Apple is doing on its short sellers, uh, 22% yesterday short a company with $250 billion in the bank. I, I just, you short the weak and you buy the strong at the bottom, but at the highs you short the weak. And Apple comes back a little bit, it's going to destroy the rest of the market. But you look for the weaker part of the market here, not the strongest. I could see if you were talking about a one- or two-day trade on an option or something. I've never really understood the idea of going after this thing. Uh, but again, yeah, you, you got people shorting Apple here at uh, one out of four shares being shorted during the day on a company that's probably going to do okay on Christmas and has 250. Can I say it again? It has $250 billion. Who, why in the world will you short that stock? Ah, all it does is make it worse for the rest of us. But uh, that's the way it goes. Um, you know, I can see some stocks like Tesla with a marginal business plan uh, that are a problem. Um, and, uh, you know, 
what else can you say? Just a very tough um, day uh, to be shorting the strongest stocks. But uh, like I said, what, what do we show? Four or five stocks that were being tested on less than 50% of the highs. That's where you want to start, not stocks that haven't turned down quite yet. But I have a feeling when these things level out, those uh, weak stocks are already going to be the first to start selling off. So uh, I can see not having a position, but uh, I can't see shorting the strongest stocks in the market going into Christmas. Just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. In the meantime, sell when you can, not when you have to. But you will see us here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.